All right, welcome back to the channel. It is July 4th. Happy Independence Day, America. It's about, probably just about 11 o'clock in the morning. Temperatures in the 80s, humidity's in the 60s. Just got done inspecting hive number three and I'm soaking wet if you can't tell. I'm over here at hive number four, which is actually in the fourth position. Um, it's been about three weeks since I inspected. Last inspection was June 12th and when I was finishing up, I moved, I slid four from the last position into that position um, and then made a split with five, which that'll be the next video. So hive number four has been in the nuke for quite some time now, given the three week gap between inspections. It's probably been in this nuke for, if I had to guess, probably close to maybe two months or approaching two months. So this was a, this probably be the last time I say this, this was a swarm that I removed from my buddy's place over at Meadowview Farms, three miles directly north, northwest from us. Um, I do the air quotes with swarm because it turned out they didn't have a queen. And you know what? Maybe that's not this one. Man, I'm getting these confused. I need to start making some notes. Hive number four. Oh no, hive four was really strong. I'm sorry, that was five I'm talking about. He's, that's had its own problems. Hive four has been pretty, was pretty strong coming out of the winter. And then it just ran into some issues, really. So either way, made the decision to reduce them down to a nuke. And here we are, July 4th. Just gonna do a quick inspection of them. Uh, they do have a marked queen, if my memory serves me correct. And basically just gonna check on the overall health, just like any old any old colony, see how the queen's laying, and if they have maybe four out of five frames with brood, maybe it's a good time to move them back into a 10 frame. And that's the first frame. No brood, no eggs, nothing. Pretty calm though, which is nice. Let's say, I think there's a queen on this frame. Can hear her. I don't know if y'all picked up on that, but you can hear a queen piping. Very small pupated larva in a few of these cells. And if I had to guess, there's probably some eggs as well, because you can use You hear that? That's weird. <laughs> weird but cool. All right, let's move through the rest of the frames, see if the marked queen's still in here. And if she isn't, whatever that piping sound is, that's very interesting. If she's like all the other queens, she should definitely stand out with that marked a uh, blue dot on her. They're extremely calm. There she is right there. And in fact, I think this was the first queen that I marked because uh, it's a pretty messy job. Right, so she's trying to get away from me, which is not surprising. Let's see how the very last frame is looking. No eggs. So they're going to stay in this nuke for now. They have about three, three nice frames of brood and all, but she's not really touching the outside for whatever reason. So gonna keep them right where they're at for now and just continue to check on them week by week and maybe once they get that fourth frame with some nice brood move them back into a 10 frame box all right well that does it for hive number four very quick inspection uh sorry for the intro kind of got four 
hive four and five kind of confused. Um, yeah, so that's hive four, queen right. That was the first queen that I marked. Decent activity, a few bees coming and going, but with the amount of brood that they had, should be a population boost and then more activity in the next month or so on the front entrance. All right, that does it for hive four. Nothing, nothing much to really talk about. They're still kind of limping along, as I like to say. Tune in next week for another weekly inspection of the fourth hive. And if you haven't done so, please subscribe. And if you hit the bell, you'll receive notifications of future videos. All right, thanks for watching, everybody.